How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins from Australia. Today we're taking a trip to the land down under to discuss not only one of the most rare and valuable coins in Australia, but the entire world. Buckle up and get ready to be blown away because today we're discussing an incredibly rare three pence coin that if identified correctly, can be worth tens of thousands of dollars, if not more. This is not your everyday piece of Australian coinage, but a true numismatic gem that has flown under the radar of many versed in coin collecting. So join us as we explore the history, rarity, and value of this prized piece of Australian currency that could still have some wild examples floating out, whether it be in bulk lots, antique shops, or maybe even in your local bank. Before I do get into this, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification so you can stay up to date with my new content. And make sure to stay to the end of the video if you would like to find out how much you could get for one of these coins if you were ever to discover one. And then without further ado, what do you say we get right into it and discuss the 1922 2 over 1 Australian 3 pence coin. Let's get it guys. So before we get into the 1922 2 over 1 Australian 3 pence coin, let's go over coin production in Australia briefly. Coin minting is a blend of science, artistry, and history. In Australia, this craft has a storied past dating back to the early 19th century. The Royal Mint has been at the forefront producing these iconic coins, and here's a brief glimpse into their minting process. It all begins with the design. Often the result of a nationwide competition, the chosen designs embody the essence of Australian culture, history, or a significant event. They then create the master dies. Talented engravers craft master dies. These are like the artist's brushes transferring the design onto the coins. The three pence's unique design showcases Australia's natural beauty and also its connection to the British monarchy. Then the blanks are prepared. Large sheets of metal are rolled into their precise thickness required for three pence coins. Circular blanks are then punched out and ready to receive their intricate design. They then proceed to strike the coins. This is the heart of the minting process. Blanks are loaded into presses where they meet the master dies with tremendous force. This imparts the design onto the coin's surface. The Royal Australian, London and Canadian mints are renowned for their quality control. Every coin is carefully inspected for defects. Imperfections can actually render a coin very rare and valuable, but only if they're genuine mint errors and they actually escape from the facility. Packaging and Distribution Once approved, the coins are packaged and prepared for distribution to banks, businesses, the public, and collectors. Now what role does the three pence coin play in Australia's numismatic history? The three pence coin first introduced in the year 1910 quickly became an integral part of Australia's economy. The kangaroo, a quintessential Australian symbol, graced the reverse side of the coin, the other displaying the current reigning monarch of the time, reflecting the nation's historical ties to the British Empire. History often takes unexpected turns, and so did the three pence coin. In the year 1966, Australia underwent decimalization. The three pence coin, a once valuable coin, transitioned into the equivalent of only 2.5 cents and its days in circulation were numbered. A remarkable chapter in the three pence's history is its role during World War II. With the nation in need of more coins than ever, production surged. Here's actually where international cooperation comes into play. The United States Mint, through its San Francisco and Denver branches, contributed to three pence production. Coins from the San Francisco Mint, minted from 1942 to 1944, bear a tiny S mint mark on the reverse, while those from the Denver Mint, produced between 1942 and 1943, feature a petite D mint mark. These mint marks are silent testaments to the global significance of these small silver coins during a tumultuous era. Coins serve as a convenient medium of exchange for small transactions in Australia. While digital payments and banknotes are widely used, coins are essential for everyday purchases like buying a cup of coffee, paying for parking, or using vending machines. Many businesses and individuals still prefer using cash for various reasons such as privacy, avoiding transaction fees, or simply out of habit. Coins are crucial for facilitating these cash transactions, ensuring that economic activities run smoothly. Prices for goods and services are often routed to the nearest 5 or 10 cents, reflecting the modern denominations of Australian coinage. This practice simplifies pricing and change-making, making transactions more efficient. 
Collecting coins, including commemorative and limited edition releases, is a popular hobby in Australia. The Australian Mint issues special coins to mark significant events and themes contributing to both numismatic and economic aspects of their coinage. Australian coins, especially those with unique designs, are often sought after by tourists as souvenirs. This contributes to the local economy through the sale of coins and related merchandise. Coins are also frequently used for charitable donations. Donation boxes, which can often be found in retail stores and public places, provide an easy way for people to contribute spare change to various causes. The numismatic industry, including coin dealers, collectors, and auction houses, plays a role in the economy. Rare and valuable coins can be bought and sold, contributing to the economic activity in Australia. Coins also serve as part of the country's currency reserves. While their individual value is relatively small, the cumulative value of coins in circulation is significant. These reserves ensure that there are enough physical coins available to meet the demands of the economy. While digital payment methods have become increasingly popular over recent years, coins still have a significant presence in the modern Australian economy. They facilitate everyday transactions, support charitable activities, and contribute to the numismatic industry. They also play a vital role in preserving the nation's history and culture through the commemorative releases. So what do you say we get into the coin that you guys are all here to find out about? Without further ado, let's get into the 1922 3 pence 2 over 1 variety. Now this is not only one of the rarest coins in Australia but the entire world and its value definitely reflects its rarity. To identify this coin what you want to do is look at the date 1922 on the reverse and you want to look at the final digit 2. Now if it looks like this 2 is stamped over a 1 then there is a good possibility that you might have this coin. Now as far as I can tell, when they struck these coins at the Melbourne Mint, they actually recycled and used some of the dies from the previous year and the one was still visible underneath the two and that is what caused a few of this variety to get out. In terms of mintage figures, the 1922 3 pence coin has a mintage of 5,531,000 but currently there are only somewhere around 900 examples of the 2 over 1 variety which gives you an idea of how incredibly rare it is to find one of these errors. Now some of the details and specifications for this coin if any of these are off it might indicate that it is not a legitimate example there are counterfeits rampant on online auction sites right now like ebay wish aliexpress if you go on any of these sites you can find counterfeit holy grail coins like the 1943 1944 steel pennies and i've seen some other pretty crazy counterfeit coins on there so it would not surprise me at all if i was to see a coin like this especially considering the amount of money you can actually get for it now some of the specifications for this coin it was minted at the Melbourne Mint It is composed of sterling silver, which is 92.5% silver, 7.5% copper. It has a weight of 1.41 grams, a diameter of 16 millimeters. The coin's obverse was designed and engraved by Sir E.B. McKennell, and the reverse was designed and engraved by W.H.J. Blackmore. So when we start to get into the price estimates for this coin, it is actually a piece that is super valuable even on the very bottom of the Sheldon scale. You can expect to get a couple thousand dollars if you do identify a legitimate example of this coin. Now in terms of value, you can get around $3,800 for a VG8 example, which is at the absolute bottom of the Sheldon scale. That is a beat up example that is all worn, been put through the meat grinder. It does not have much detail on it, and that is absolutely insane. It is definitely a reflection of the coin's rarity. Now, as you go up on the bottom of the Sheldon scale, you start to see some decent price jumps. It can be worth around $6,500 for a VF20 and up to $38,000 for an AU50, which is right before you start to hit the MS mark. Now, as you start to get into the mint range, it can be worth around $65,900 for an MS60 and all the way up to $95,000 for an MS62 example, which currently is the highest graded known example that I could find, which is absolutely insane. If you were to find one of these coins and it scored any higher, especially between an MS67 and 70, then you could be talking easily a $250,000 to $500,000 coin. This is definitely one of the rarest pieces to come out of Australia with only 900 known examples and a good one to have on your radar for sure. What do you guys think about the 1922 2 over 1 3 pence coin? What would you do if you ever found a legitimate example or if you ever have found any of the coins discussed in this video? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. Also, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification to stay up to date with my new content as it is being released. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this one, folks. So thank you everybody so, so much for watching. But until the next one, Peace out and have a good one, y'all.